search continues tonight for the person Tulsa police say shot and killed one teen and injured another last night at the McLean homecoming football game against Miami. Today, we're hearing from state and local school leaders about the violence as well as a witness who was at that game. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Caitlin Rivas joins us now with more. Sharon, good evening. The Miami superintendent released a lengthy statement today in response to the gunfire that broke out as hundreds of people filed out of last night's game. They're tough on homecoming. Uh, again, they have a coach with NFL experience and a good staff. Um, but our kids earned this, and this was a grind, and I'm not sure what we got going on here. The field looks a lot different today following the shooting around 9.30 last night. No fans, no players, just deflated balloons and unanswered questions. One witness we spoke to says he was at the game celebrating his 30th high school reunion when he heard the gunshots. We heard a couple gunshots going off. Uh, I can't tell you how many I heard or any of that or whatever, not, but every kind of body, you know, gunshots go off. Everybody gets kind of scattering around. TPD spent several hours searching for the suspect who killed a 17 year old and injured another young man. Canines went door to door as the police helicopter searched for the suspect from the air. And as police continue their investigation, school leaders have released statements on the violence. While Miami Superintendent Nick Highsmith sent his condolences, he also said his students won't play again at McLean. As long as I am superintendent of schools, Miami will not travel to Tulsa McLean again to participate in any school activity. He goes on to say he cannot allow his players, students, staff, and family members to return to a place that they have repeatedly been put in danger. In 2016, shots also rang out at a McLean football game. No one died in that incident. Highsmith says he has asked athletic director Chad Davis to speak with the OSSAA about taking McLean off their schedule for all sports. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister also released a statement today saying, Our hearts are with the McLean, Miami, and Tulsa Public Schools communities following last night's tragedy and violence. We stand together with students, families, and school communities to assist and support them in the coming days and weeks. And neither Tulsa Public Schools nor McLean High School has issued statements. If you'd like to read the entire statement from Miami Superintendent, you'll find it in this story at kdrh.com. Live in studio, Caitlin Revis, 2 News, Oklahoma.